Would you take an excessive amount of a drug when that drug could harm you? Probably not, but you may be doing just that without even knowing it. The drug is caffeine, one of the most controversial and most widely used drugs on the market. Contact 13's Jim Roods begins a four-part special report. The morning fix. Drugs in a cup. The use of caffeine is thousands of years old, but our awareness of it is relatively new. Some of us are trying to give it up. Others of us are ingesting caffeine without even knowing about it. And now the caffeine pushers are joining the caffeine-free bandwagon because they realize that there are profits there. I have great news for you hockey fans out there. The Toledo Gold Diggers are back in business. Today, the IHL Board of Governors gave Jerry Francis the go-ahead for the upcoming season. 13's Dan Savick was in Kalamazoo today, and I know you've been following this story all along. Dan, what's up? Big story, John. As far as the International Hockey League is concerned, the Gold Diggers are back in business. And uh, the present Board of Governors are very pleased that Toledo decided to stay. The other big story coming out of the meetings is that Denver and Salt Lake City will not join the IHL this year. The Chicago Bulls pick Michael Jordan of the University of North Carolina. Michael Jordan is a can't-miss prospect. He can either play guard or forward, and he's considered to be one of the best clutch players in this year's college crop. 